What's going on guys? So today, me and a friend of mine, Curtis, we rode down to Woodland, Georgia to a hog killing um, little class they had down there at the Old South Farm Museum. Really interesting place in the middle of nowhere. Um, museum had all kind of stuff in there. I should have took some video of that, but I did not. And I apologize for that, but I was able to get some footage of the process. Um, Dr. Glenn Hill, he did the whole killing and explaining and cutting up in the curing. And that man knows his stuff. He's been teaching the class since 1975. So if you get a chance to go down and check it out, they do it the first Saturday in February, just about every year. Um, it's well worth the visit. You get to bring home a little bit of meat. We got a quarter Brunswick stew, two pounds of sausage. And they ran out of the hams you had to cure yourself in Boston Butts. So me and my buddy got a already smoked and cured country ham that I cut up and we divided up amongst ourselves. So, but all in all, it was worth it. Great trip, a um, lot of knowledge. So the video is a little long. If you're interested in raising pigs, processing your own hogs, this video will have a lot of knowledge that could really help you. So. Hope you guys enjoy it and appreciate you watching. Remember to like, subscribe, comment, and uh, yeah, here we go. that could be exposed. If this hog had gone through a good health program, we may not see it. Chances are we'll see a pattern of some round worms, some tapes, and some flutes. We may not see them all, but you'll see the pattern. Each, each worm, a microorganism, has a different pattern. Where are we gonna look at it? We're gonna look at it in the liver. We're gonna look at it uh, in the kidneys. We'll look at it in the lungs. Old people call the lungs the light. Parasites are gonna follow the blood. That's where the life is uh, in all of our system. That's why we have to get treatment so that they don't stay in our system. But they're gonna file it, and the more damage done, eventually it will affect what? Your heart, your liver, and your lungs. If this animal was gonna be slaughtered at the slaughter facility, you have to leave the kidneys on the inside. It must stay. Everything else comes out. We're going to drop the hog, we're going to open him up, and I'm just going to talk to you about it, and then I'll talk to you about cuts of meat. Any <laughs> the pine needles will 
loose, help loosen the hat. You have to get it off. Uh, the one thing you want to, the other thing you need, you're going to need some knives. Uh, some knives uh, that you can use. This is a seven inch uh, knife here, and it's a curve. I like to use typically a six inch. Uh, a six inch to me works a lot better than a seven inch. Uh, but they need to be sharp. A dull knife will cut you, but it won't do the job on the meat. So just always make sure that you've got a holder. Make sure that you've got a, uh, something that get, when you make a cut, you come back and you come back and sharpen your knife. If you watch the butcher, every time they make a cut, they go hit the knife and everything. That's just the art of the deal. Don't plug the hog, the rear of this hog, with this corn cob. Then I'm gonna take the string, once I cut it down and tie it off. That way, none of the fecal matter will get on the animal. That's the purpose of this. <clears throat> Got enough? <laughs> Anybody else? Come on. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Bacon and, and, and uh, ham. This hog got good ham. But you got bacon from here all the way down, so you got a long side of bacon. Uh, so that's what you really want. Years ago, bacon was a cheap cut. Today, bacon is expensive. Uh, years ago, ham hocks. Basically, you give them away. Today, ham hocks are expensive. Uh, country ham, you leave the whole leg on. Uh, what you see in the store is considered a commercial ham. Uh, they take off all of the leg and sell it as a ham hock. Seven days, it's in the market. It's quick, but it's expensive. And so uh, it takes uh, seven days per pound for a ham to cure. So you just figure if you've got a 20 pound ham, uh, you're looking at roughly 35 days uh, in the cure. That's a slow. A bit more on that side. Okay. Okay. Yeah. All right, let's go around in just a little bit more. On both sides. Stay, stay in your lane, right there. All right. Yeah, to the other side. The same thing. It's just like driving, people. You stay on your side of the road, you won't hit nobody. All right, that's good. Now take your finger. And go around on both sides. Of you go in. See how my hand is? Go right to it. 
Here's a lyric and easy. It's a lot of fun, too. All right. I plugged him. I got him plugged. Okay, no problem. Can everybody see? He's plugged. Now. Corn cob is down in there. As long as you got to ride the corn cob, you're good. Any questions? Mr. Pelvis? All right. We've opened it up to a point now where we can work all the way down. Let me turn around so people can. The other thing that you want to do, if you're going to kill this hog today, uh, you stop feeding it uh, three days ago, and you only give it water because you want it to be cleaned out as much as you can. Uh, you don't want to worry about feeding it. You take it back out, and then you, you uh, go from there. Some people feed right up to the day, and then you got that extra waste and extra money that you you spent that you didn't, you're not going to get any benefit from. All right, that was part one. YouTube's not want me to upload a video longer than 15 minutes, so make sure y'all go check out part two. It's worth it. Trust me.